So here's the latest update uh, so far. Here is the Glen Mango. Got a couple of mangoes. Uh, a lot of the smaller ones that weren't going to make it have dropped off. Also got some new growths. I've uh, potted up or we'll changed into seven gallon pots these uh, citrus plants. The seedless clementine and the Meyer lemon. Going to be moving those up to my other property. Here is uh, the rosy gold. Slowly making a comeback. Mexican winter avocado. Looks like it's starting to wake up. And this guy here, the Haas avocado. Completely woken up. I had a bunch of flowers. Uh, did not set any fruit. I didn't want it to anyways. Uh, it's first year growing here, so maybe next year. Now here's the big shock. My ice cream bean. I chopped it off. Chop. And the reason why is I'm going to be transporting it to the property. I'm going to be planting this guy in the ground. It's finally going to get to go in the ground. It's actually quite old. It's about um, eight years old. It's a big branch, a big tree. But uh, it's just been sitting in a pot, root bound. It's tried to escape before into the ground, so I've had to lift it off the ground. It'll do better in the ground once I get it in the ground. I'm excited for that. Blackberries. Put in some flowers, some ficus now around the garden. Got my pineapples, pineapple root. Another vico right there. Let's go around over here. So that's where the citrus used to be where the seedless clementine. Now it's in the pot over there. It's going up to the property. Valencia Pride Mango. Growing great. My uh, container garden. Got uh, basil. Cilantro, cilantro, oregano, mint, and tomatoes. This guy's just about ready. I'll plug it tonight if it's good. I got some uh, blueberries. I've plucked a few blueberries off of it already. Let me see if there's any ready today. I don't see any ready. Got some that are nearing ready. Still have some flowers coming in. Oh, I put some marigolds around the passion vines. They look very nice, actually. The passion vine is just taken over. Looks nice, so I can't wait for the flowers. This is the Glen Mango air layered cutting. It's finally taken off well. Oh, what we got here finally sprouting up. So these guys. These are what they are. Gamboge, yellow mango skin. Can't find them anywhere. 
so I decided to grow them from seed. They take a long time to sprout. This is uh, planted back in January, and it's now April. But yeah, finally got some signs of life. Dragon fruit cuttings all going pretty well. These are my Cosquayaba seedlings, planted back in January. This guy's doing amazing. He's got a whole bunch of branches branching out and everything. More dragon fruit cuttings. A couple small Mysore raspberries. I'm growing these guys out. And these are all those sapo trees. Well, seedlings, of course. Again, these are impossible to find around here. Also known as baboon cap fruit. Let's continue on through the garden. We have the guava. We got some uh, little guava sitting in. The big one's still ripening from before. Uh, a couple more flowers in there too. So this tree just shed a whole bunch of leaves and now it's uh, pushing out a whole bunch of new leaves, a bunch of new growth. It's looking pretty good. Jalapeno plant. A whole bunch of new flowers coming in. Red dragon fruit, which is uh, Haley's Comet variety. Growing pretty well. I've had the treated for cactus rust. Um, copper fungicide works really well one application and uh, some patience and it worked so my Angie mango some bunch of new growth looking very nice no flowers but uh, very nice new leaves big leaves I think some of these leaves are very nice for a dwarf plant. Uh, the yellow dragon fruit seedlings, Ecuador Pelora variety, also growing very nicely. Side, we got the lychee tree. Yes, it is potted. That's growing pretty good. If you look at the old videos, you'll see that it was um, shorter than that support bamboo cane, but uh, it's starting to grow. It's doing pretty well. Put out all this flush new leaves. Really healthy looking new leaves. Very nice. My Palestinian sweet lime. This guy's done very well in uh, South Florida, so I'm gonna keep it down here. It's never had any issues, unlike the other citrus plants. Got some strawberries. Uh, so in my compost, um, I often drop some strawberries, and they'll ultimately sprout up. And if you keep them, sometimes you get strawberries. That's how I got my uh, blackberry plants. I use. 
use uh, leaves for mulch as well since I got plenty. which is great actually. Yeah, this guy potted up here. And here is my loquat. No fruit this year. Very nice growth though. So we got um, gooseberry plants right here. Gooseberry Row. Let's go check out the mama bird, see if she's in there. There's the nest. And yep, yeah, mama bird is uh, sitting on her eggs. I believe it's a female cardinal, so I'm just gonna leave her alone. We've been getting a few cardinals through the garden. And uh, this is my sugar apple. Definitely made its comeback. Bunch of new growth. Um, had some aphids, so I ended up spraying it with some uh, neem oil and soap and ended up damaging the plant. Um, but it's still growing, still putting out new leaves. Another passion vine with some marigolds around the base. This one I'm letting grow on the fence. Behind it is my neighbor's uh, cashew fruit tree and sugar cane. He also enjoys fruits. So here's another uh, sugar apple or custard apple tree. Not 100% sure. But uh, I guess we'll find out soon enough when it uh, grows up and gives fruit. Either way, I just enjoy it. And uh, here's my rubble garden. So these are all in-ground crops, except for the banana. So uh, let me see if I can do this. Uh, we got uh, regular Rousset brown potatoes sweet potatoes, peanuts, and onions. All right, it looks like the squirrel already attacked the peanuts. And that's it for the garden update. Thanks for watching.